Hi there, and thanks for checking out this video. I'm John from Tennis Companion, and today we're doing an in-depth review and playtest of the Wilson Blade 98V8 16x19. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that Wilson sent me this racket to review. However, I haven't been paid by Wilson or anyone else to discuss it, so what I share in this video is my own opinion. With that said, let's get started with the Wilson Blade V8 specs so you know exactly what you're getting with this racket. Originally released in 2006, the Wilson Blade is one of the game's most popular rackets that's well known for its excellent feel, control, and comfort. This model of the Blade V8 comes in your standard length of 27 inches with a smaller 98 square inch head size and an open 16 by 19 string pattern. It's worth noting that Wilson does sell the exact same frame with a tighter 18 by 20 string pattern that offers a stiffer response with added precision, which I'll be reviewing separately. The racket's unstrung weight is quoted at 305 grams or 10.8 ounces and the racket I have on hand weighs 308 grams, or just under 10.9 ounces, which isn't too far off from spec in a reasonable variance. For its strong weight, you can add 18 or so grams depending on your string of choice. Plus, you'll find its swing weight comes in at 320. The Blade 98 V8 16x19 has a 7-point headlight balance at 32 centimeters unstrung which drops to 5 points headlight at 32.6 centimeters with strings installed. For its stiffness, the Wilson Blade 98 has a lower, arm-friendly RA rating of 61. Finally, the racket has a consistent 21mm beam all the way around. If you're looking to dive deeper on any of these specs, I'd encourage you to check out my guides on these topics, which I've linked in the video's description. For the 8th generation, Wilson doesn't stray too far from the blade's formula, but as you might expect, introduces a handful of refinements. To start, the Wilson Blade 98 V8 retains its braided graphite and basalt construction for optimal flex and feel, which lends itself to enhanced control. Next up, Wilson rebrands the blade's feel flex technology as 45, which further enhances the frame's vertical and horizontal flex while retaining stability. Within the head of the racket, the blade takes advantage of parallel drilling for select grommets, which increases the sweet spot size and results in a more forgiving response. New for the Blade V8 is Wilson's Direct Connect handle, which fuses the butt cap with the handle's carbon fiber for a bit of extra stability. Finally, the frame continues its use of Wilson's top grip taper, which improves feel for the top hand when hitting a two-handed backhand and the red ergonomic butt cap offers smooth, rounded edges for added comfort. For a while now, Wilson has leaned into their simple matte color schemes, which offers on-brand consistency from one model to the next. However, for the Blade V8, Wilson heads in a different direction with a unique chameleon-style matte paint job that's dynamic and shifts between green and copper. At the top of the hoop, you'll find matte black and silver print highlighting the frame's 45 construction, while all other print on the frame is black. As far as durability goes for the paint job, I wouldn't expect any major improvements, but I do like how Wilson has broken the mold of their more recent racket styles with something unique that stands out from the crowd. The recommended tension range for the Wilson Blade 98 V8 is 50 to 60 pounds. For my playtest, I strung with 1.25mm Luxalon Alu Power at 52 pounds or 23.6 kilograms, which is a lower powered polyester that delivers excellent spin and durability with exceptional feel that complements the blade's strengths. Due to the frame's comfort oriented flex, many players should do well using a polyester without much concern for an overly stiff hitting experience. However, if you're looking for a bit of extra comfort, you might consider stringing with a polyester and multi-filament or natural gut hybrid, which will also enhance power. Now that you know exactly what to expect from the Wilson Blade 98 V8 specs and technologies, let's jump into my playtest and review.
Before we get started, here are a few playtest notes that you might find useful when considering my thoughts and opinions on this racket. From the back of the court, I thought the Wilson Blade 98 was solid. Hitting ground strokes, I felt strong command over the ball, and because it doesn't provide much free power, I rarely felt I was overhitting or the ball was getting away from me. I preferred the racket hitting backhands, which is my flatter shot. However, it was plenty sufficient on my forehand with the open 16x19 string pattern delivering adequate topspin, and the smaller 98 square inch head size helping maintain excellent control. Throughout my playtest, I found comfort to be one of the frame's standout features. There's no doubt it's an arm-friendly racket, which pays off as you open up your swing to generate power. Up at the net, I thought the Wilson Blade performed well. It's plenty maneuverable and one of the areas where its excellent feel stands out, helping deliver controlled and accurate replies. For the most part, I found its stability to hold up. The racket benefits from its moderate weight and sizable sweet spot for a 98 square inch head size in this department. However, I expect some higher level players will enjoy customizing with a bit of added weight. Overall, I felt connected with the ball, precise in my striking and confident in my approach. On serve, the blade offers a bit of a surprise. As you might expect, the racket's strength on serve is accuracy, which I thought was excellent. However, despite its lower power, I never found the blade overly lacking on serve. It's certainly not the racket I'd gravitate toward for going all out. However, I found I can put more into my motion without a significant drop in my consistency. Add to that plenty of spin for slice and kick serves, and the Wilson Blade is a solid all-around performer in this category. Finally, on returns, I think the blade is more than adequate. It's pretty quick on the backswing and relatively forgiving on off-center shots. Additionally, its control and lower power allow you to swing through the ball with confidence, and there's plenty of spin on tap to avoid overhitting, which lends itself to added versatility in your replies. Overall, I think Wilson delivers an excellent update to the Blade 98 with an 8th generation that builds on the frame's core DNA, while adding subtle refinements that enhance performance. It's an excellent all-court frame that's ideal for intermediate to advanced players who have developed sufficient skill and technique to reap the benefits of its lower power and precision. It's also an ideal option for players in need of a frame that delivers comfort. However, newer players, aggressive baseliners, and big hitters who demand maximum spin and easier access to power will likely be disappointed by what this frame brings to the table. If you're in the market for a Wilson blade, you may be wondering whether you should opt for a 16x19 or 18x20 string pattern. Both are excellent rackets that come with similar specs, so you might be hung up on which you should buy or if one is better than the other. Before you decide, it's helpful to consider the difference between an open string pattern and a closed string pattern. Here's a quick comparison outlining the differences. To decide which is best for you, I'd encourage you to consider your style of play and preferences as it relates to these nuances in performance. If you feel like you fall somewhere in between, a demo of both would go a long way to help you make the call. Otherwise, you can determine if your preferences slant toward one of the two buckets and go with that option. It's also worth noting that you'll end up with slightly different RA ratings and strung specs, including weight, swing weight, and balance as a result of the different string patterns. I'll be posting a full review of the Wilson Blade 98 V8 18x20 with a more detailed comparison of the 16x19 model in an upcoming video, so if you'd like to check that out, don't forget to subscribe. Another popular option in the Blade lineup endorsed by Venus Williams is the Blade 104 V8, which also gets an update in 2021. It has all of the same technology found in the smaller 98 square inch models, but it's lighter at 10.2 ounces, has a larger 104 square inch head size, and an extended 27 and a half inch length. You'll also find Wilson integrated a new double hole design for the cross strings at the middle for added spin and a more forgiving response. As a result, the Wilson Blade 104 delivers considerably more power and spin in a lighter package that's an excellent option for improving beginners and intermediate players looking for extra pop and margin for error. If you'd like to learn more about the Wilson Blade 98 V8 16x19, be sure to check out my full write-up which I've linked in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And if you'd like to join me for future videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.